Alright everyone, welcome back to my channel, Baseball Talk with Nick Morgan. So today, we have the second video up of this Weekend Roundup. You guys don't know what Weekend Roundup is. It's something new on my channel. I just established it in my last video with the Jose Bautista trade. But really what I'm doing, since I had a really busy week uh, within the past few days, I missed a lot of really cool things that happened in Major League Baseball. So I'm taking Saturday and Sunday, using it to my advantage, and summarizing everything that happened throughout the week. So this is something that happened actually yesterday that's really cool. Uh, I really have no like order of how I'm going to make these videos and upload them, just however I want to and whatever I feel like doing is what I'm going to upload uh, as soon as it's done. So, Andrew McCutcheon, the Pirates, at the beginning of this year, we all knew we were going to trade away a lot of players so that they had a better chance at the postseason, but we were never expecting McCutcheon to leave. He got traded to the Giants, if you guys didn't know, and, uh, well, he's no longer on the Giants, okay? He is actually... I'm the New York Yankees, which is kind of insane. Like, we have such a crazy outfield right now. I'm going to explain that a little more in a little bit. But, like, the Yankees have Andrew McCutcheon? What? Like, okay. This is awesome. I saw this. I was like, oh, yes. Like, just our outfield is going to be so good. And uh, if we make it past the wild card, which we should, oof. Okay. That's all I'm going to say. Like, the Yankees really... They're making moves. They also got a Diney Hetch of a Rio who we're going to talk about in another video, but I like it. I like the Yankees and what they're doing right now. Um, let me know what you guys think, actually, by the way, with uh, Andrew McCutcheon going to the Yankees and now wearing pinstripes. Uh, we're actually going to go over everything right now and uh, a few ideas that come along with this trade. So here we go. The Yankees almost literally waited last minute for Andrew McCutcheon. Um, because if you guys don't know, if the players aren't traded by the 31st, I think, if they're not in the new clubhouse by the 31st, they're not eligible for the postseason roster. So if the Yankees were like, oh, let's go get Andrew McCutcheon, but made the deal made the deal today or tomorrow, today is September 1st, so if they made the deal tomorrow, let's say September 2nd, even if he's on the team, he cannot play in the postseason. So he would have only been good till the regular season is over. So that really didn't help us. So we waited uh, almost a little too long, in my opinion. I think I would have liked to get the deal done a lot earlier, but they're just trying to make moves. And, you know, if it took that long, as long as we got him, we got him. But, yeah, so that is the rule. Um, he is eligible for the postseason now as a Yankee, which I like because I think he's really going to help us. He's got a good bat. And, uh, yeah, so August 31st is when it all happened, as I said. The Yankees deal two no-name prospects to the Giants, who aren't doing well this year. The Giants, uh, as of this trade, like, once this trade happened, they were 67 and 68. Uh, and in return, of course, the Yankees got uh, five-time All-Star from 2011-2015 and NL MVP award winner in 2013, Andrew McCutcheon. So... McCutcheon's 2018 stats are not terrible at all. In 482 at-bats, he's hitting 255, 15 home runs, 55 RBIs, 13 stolen bases, and a .772 OPS. His career stats are kind of similar uh, average-wise. He's hitting 288 in his career, 218 home runs, 780 RBIs, 184 stolen bases, and a .858 OPS. Now, he is a free agent after the 2018 season, so will he stay with the Yankees after this? Good chance he won't, but he may. It is a chance that we wow him, which probably won't be that hard if we really need him or really want him. So maybe he'll stay in pinstripes for 2019. We don't know. Giancarlo Stanton, I think, also might be a free agent. Don't quote me on that. So it's kind of like, well, do we want Stanton or McCutcheon if they're both free agents? i definitely go Stanton. So I don't know. Again, not sure if Giancarlo is a free agent or not. Um, for whatever reason, I'm thinking that he might be. So... Let me know down below in the comment section as well, if he is or not, I, like I said, don't recall. But we're going to go over the prospects right now that the Giants received. And um, again, like I said before, there's no one. Like, we gave up literally no one for Andrew McCutcheon. Now, sometimes teams will dish out, like, some of their better prospects, get a guy, not do well in the season, and then he'll be a free agent and he'll leave the team. So it's kind of like you wasted the prospects. Yankees really didn't do that. They gave away infielder. Abiato Avellino or Abiato Avellino. Never heard of him. Uh, his highest in his career is AAA. He made, uh, he had 94 games in AAA. 
335 at bats, a 245 average, 82 hits, 38 runs, sorry about that, 5 home runs, 44 RBIs, 19 walks, 71 strikeouts, 13 stolen bases, and a .289 OBP. And, um, you know, not really numbers that wow anyone, especially with Glaber Torres. You know, it's not someone that you're going to call up anytime soon. And then we give away pitcher Juan de Paula. And he's made it to single A. That's the highest he's made it in the minors. He has seven wins and seven losses, a 2.39 ERA, 22 games, 109.1 innings pitched, 77 hits, 39 runs, one home run. 51 walks, 99 strikeouts, and 1.17 whip. So now we're going to look at the outfields that the Yankees have. Um, this is a whole lot here. We have to really process this and really think about this. We have Brett Gardner, Giancarlo Stanton, Aaron Hicks, Neil Walker. I mean, I don't know if he's going to play outfield anymore, but he does play outfield. So that's four. Clint Frazier, don't know where he's been. I think he's hurt. Um, that is five. Aaron Judge is hurt, and we really don't have word of him yet coming back. And Jacoby Ellsbury, like, he's been out the entire season, but we still have him on the team. And now we have Andrew McCutcheon. That's eight outfielders. So if we really think about this here, yeah, Giancarlo might be DH. Okay, so that leaves a whole lot of other people. So Gardner would be left, Hicks would be center, and then McCutcheon would be right. Like, I would think that's the case. But, you know, sometimes you're going to have games where there's no DH. So will you sit Gardner, which I hope you don't, because he's my favorite player. I don't want to see him down. Okay, he hit a home run yesterday. He was insane. Um, but, like, if you think about this, where are you going to put everyone? There's a whole lot on the Yankees right now. But if you think about it, Aaron Judge was supposed to be back weeks ago. Okay, he was supposed to be out for two and a half, three weeks. And the Yankees still don't know if he's coming back anytime soon. So, like... Judge might not return this season, which would be good that they picked up McCutcheon. Because for whatever reason, if they make the World Series, which I'm saying not in a bad way, but if they do make the World Series somehow and beat the Red Sox, you know, they're going to be away at some point. They're not going to have a DH. So, I mean, Hicks has really showed that he's been amazing recently. I'm scared they're going to take out Gardner, but you know what? If it's going to get us more wins, then that's what they do, but... I don't know, guys. This is going to be crazy. The situation right now with the Yankees really puts a lot of questions into our heads. Like, they're not sure if Judge is going to come back. So, I don't know what we're supposed to do with that information. Like, how are we going to put Andrew McCutcheon in the outfield? I mean, I'm sure he'd go to right field with Giancarlo at DH. But, again, if there's not a DH, then... There's a lot of things you have to think about right now. But guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to drop a like, comment, and subscribe down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Peace.